It's Food FAQ Day, everybody. I'm Mariella. I'm Eric. And today, Geeter, we're talking about the fifth golden girl. Mariella, we're talking about my favorite food substance on the planet. <laughs> substance. <laughs> okay. There is nothing greater than cheesecake. Bum, bum, bum. Me. It is so good. <laughs> yes. And not only are we talking about cheesecake, <clears throat> we're talking about savory cheesecake. We're talking about the world's best cheesecake, and we're talking about a healthy version of a cheesecake. Which was fucking disgusting. Wait a minute. Hold back, for God's sake. Leave a little bit to the imagination, Eric. Jesus. All right. (laughs) Uh, All right. I'm going to start with savory cheesecake, which both of us discussed, and we were like, yeah, that sounds really good. I think I can totally eat a savory cheesecake and enjoy it because we're snobs. sometimes (laughs) sometimes <laughs> yeah <laughs> we are and so i said i'm gonna volunteer and i'm gonna make this cheesecake and i found like the most complicated recipe that i could by zoe francoise which has an amazing show called zoe bakes on hbo which i've told you about before mm-hmm. and her recipe required like creme fraiche and heavy cream and like thyme you know interesting types of ingredients so i thought this right. is gonna be fucking good so I made it and then I tried it after it cooled for a couple hours and it tasted like egg cheese. And then the following day today, actually, I tried it with you on FaceTime and mm-hmm. it was just a Borson fucking cheese. It's just Borson cheese, which, you know, you can yep. buy and it's better. <clears throat> for a fraction of the cost. That's the other fucking thing. I bought creme fraiche, Eric. OK, I bought creme fraiche. Right. And I didn't use it all for the stupid recipe. <laughs> right. And what did we learn? What creme fraiche really is? Creme fraiche really means it's sour cream, you idiot, in French. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little, little thicker. thicker. Sour cream. Yeah. yeah, which is bullshit. So, yeah, don't do it, you guys. Don't do it. Don't buy it anywhere. Don't let anybody fool you. Okay, guys? We're here to help. Just seriously. <laughs> but, but I'm going to tell you something. I had the creme fraiche and I wasn't going to let it go to waste. So I made like the most delicious scones with it, which I had to heft up with sour cream, which is again, the same shit. And they were divine. And I'm going to give you that recipe and put it in the show notes because I never let anything go to waste, especially a $4 ingredient that I will never use on anything. So at least something good was born from it. You had a similar right. shitty experience, apparently, that you're very I mean, passionate Mary, about. Let me explain something. So <laughs> I get this recipe off of TikTok, some health individual <laughs> off of TikTok. I don't want to use the word health nut, but I'm going to use the word health nut. Health individual. <laughs> health individual. Okay. <laughs> don't even look that healthy. All right. Mm. Like, uh, you know what? I'm not going to get into the looks of a person because that's wrong. But I will say, if I ate like that, I better look fucking phenomenal. She's All right. A health cashew. Is what She's she like, a health ca- <laughs> Thank you. So the recipe was, it was Greek yogurt. Uh-huh. You fluff your egg whites, you know, turn it into two stiff peaks and meringue. And then you beat together your egg yolks and your Greek yogurt. And then you combine everything together. Mm-hmm. And she so happily told us that she doesn't need sugar in hers. Well, okay, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> so what I got confused at is on her recipe list, she put uh, powdered white eggs. Mm-hmm. Okay, powdered white eggs, y'all, nine bucks yeah, it's for a little tub sure. of powdered white eggs. We're not dealing with this. No. Okay. All right. But I followed the recipe that she had on TikTok, mm-hmm. even though her ingredient list was different. Did you sweeten it? No, because she said don't sweeten it. Well, she said she didn't sweeten it. She's a twat. <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> so I went for it and I decided to bake it. And it smelled like egg and yogurt (laughs) and it felt like egg and yogurt. And I did not eat hot egg and yogurt. I'm just going to put that out there. Yeah. Yeah. So I know that was not my assignment, Madi. So I ended up making a chocolate cake with a fudge (laughs) drizzle on top of it. And that was much more satisfying. Ryan's been eating it and it's been much more satisfying. Um, So, yeah. Um. You were bamboozled, Eric. Even you can be bamboozled, and you should have known better. Now, in I know. Respect, you should have been like that dumb bitch. Really, because my whole life, growing up in the '90s, you try to find a fat-free version of every single thing. Remember that? Yeah. Do you remember the one time of the '90s where I found? It was, it was the 2000s. I found fat-free condensed milk. 
Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to make flan. I'm going to make <laughs> key lime pies, all with this fat free condensed milk. Until one day my mother came up to me. She's like, you do know it has an ass load of sugar still inside of it, right? <laughs> Yeah, fat free they just matter. use. She's like, at this point, it does not matter. Cause my mother said to me, she's like, every fat Cuban old lady has been trying to make a fat free flan their entire lives. <laughs> so needless to say, this was horrible. It was so fucking bad. This was horrible, horrible. So I've come to a conclusion, a couple things about cheesecake. Yeah. One best dessert on the planet. You can fight me over this. I can, but it is delicious. Two. It was on almost every episode of the Golden Girls. Yay. So we have to show homage to them. Ugh. And three, first of all, cheesecake, especially the cheesecake recipe we're going to give uh, is crustless because it, it's naturally made crustless. If you were to substitute the sugar for like monk fruit, mm-hmm. a cheesecake is low carb right. and, and gluten free. It's yeah. a very low carb and gluten free. Um, is it keto? I don't freaking know. It might be. But I don't know. I think um, it is. Very, I want to say it has to be. But, you know, if you substitute the sugar with like a monk fruit or another or Splenda, you know, any number of Splenda, things. Stevia. I don't know if Splenda is keto, by the way. Oh, really? Uh, I don't know. I, I know like, Stevia is. I suck Splenda back like three packets in my coffee. I drink Splenda with stuff all the time. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. But so I kind of realized that. Why are we making a healthier version of this item when it is high calorically? Absolutely. But it has very little flour in it, which you could substitute coconut flour with, almond flour with, mm-hmm. make a keto, make it gluten free. And it kind of fits every diet fad there is. So why are we taking the joy out of something so, so wonderful? Why are we putting eggs and yogurt in our basket? Like it's like pissing on the parade. Yeah. Pissing on parades. It's illegal, man. When I went to this TikToker's page, Madi, it was also like, make a bread out of cottage cheese and egg yolks. Fuck you. <laughs> she literally only does dairy plus egg. <laughs> it seems like. <laughs> she must poop a lot. <laughs> or not, because of all these high protein diets. Oh, yeah. Maybe like, huh? yeah, high protein. When I went on a really high protein diet once, remember I dropped like 80 pounds and then gained it all back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, there was times that like, you can't. I couldn't poop for days. Yeah. So I think it's part of the problem. And that's a horrible feeling. And this is why maybe her content is constipated. <laughs> maybe that's why there's the oily look on the skin. I don't know. But what I know is you can't be happy like that. <laughs> no, you cannot be happy. Like, I bet that chocolate cake made you happy, Eric. It did. And listen, I'm not saying you, you eat cheesecake every day or you, or you eat chocolate cake every day. I'm not saying that. Like, I would love to. Moderation is the key. Mm-hmm. You know, we want to keep the diabetes at bay. Mm-hmm. But if you're going to have cheesecake, just have the real thing. Have one slice. Right. Enjoy it. Share the slice if you want. You know, enjoy it. I agree. But you know, the Cheesecake Factory makes a low carb cheesecake, which is delicious. I've never had their low carb cheesecake. I'm no longer a fan of the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, God. What did they do? <laughs> Ever since like COVID, like, to me, it's been like the D level staff has been released out into the Cheesecake Factory. And it's like the food is, is, I mean, it's, it's granted, never great. It, it, it's mall based food. It's not like, you know, yeah. you're eating top cuisine here, but it was even shittier than when it was before. The service was horrible. And it's just, it's really just gone down the drain. So, but then again, that's here in the DC area. Maybe. I haven't Miami. been, I think I took my daughter to get dessert there once, but she mm-hmm. had to like, we had to leave for something. I don't remember what it was. So we didn't really get like a full dining experience. But honestly, mm-hmm. anytime you really go there, it's never great. It's like good enough, you know? You know what it is? It's just like four pounds of food on your plate right? And for $25. So you're just like, all right, I got three meals out of this. <laughs> it's worth my while. <laughs> it's worth my while. Now, one thing I will say is that their flavor selection of cheesecakes, it's a lot. And that's kind of cool it is to cool. be able to see. It, it is neat to see. I've never tried the low sugar cheesecake because if I already downed like a tw- 2100 calorie chicken parm, like, am I really concerned about my yeah, sugar I mean, content? Sure. But have you ever had a salad there? They're delicious. You know, they're really high in calories too. <laughs> but I'm just saying they, they, they don't leave you as full. <laughs> 
So you can't. No, they they had like this, like, I think it was like this barbecue chicken salad. Yeah, I'm sure. It was was really good. It it is really good. They're like, they're like mile high salads, but Mm -hmm. I mean, have the crusted chicken Romano at that point. Yeah, yeah. listen, it's not like dietary, but it is less filling. (laughs) but you don't walk out feeling so weighted down. Right. Because their food is always like that. Like it makes you feel like a million mm-hmm. pounds are in your belly. But anyway, we digress. We are talking about cheesecake here. <laughs> you know, really quick, you know, you and I went to the Cheesecake Factory, like when it first opened in Miami together. Really? Yeah. It was you what and I. What did we do there? Uh, eight. Obviously, but, but like, what did we do? Remember? I don't know. It was like 22 years ago, but I know oh that God. we went and ate there. So <laughs> I believe it. I love it. But yeah, it was you, me, and another person. Wow. I don't have any recollection of this incident. I can remember specifically you ordered, and I'll never forget this, Maddie, and I don't know why, what? you ordered a portobello mushroom Ugh. sandwich. Ugh. Like a burger, like it was like a substitute of the burger. Yeah. And that was your exact reaction. <laughs> Because you know how I think you went through like those vegetarian phases or something. I did, like that? yeah, I did. And I think that was that's why you ordered it. I hate those and fucking mushrooms now. I hate them. I hate portobello I, mushrooms. I hate I, them because you ate your weight in them probably for yeah, five years. I, just, I never want to fucking eat one, another. I one. love them. We'll talk about that another day, but <laughs> I'll just never forget that. So, anyways, that was my first experience at the Cheesecake Factory. Is with, me. with you? How <laughs> funny. So let's talk about I don't remember it, which is like all the fucking time. Tell me things. That's okay. Like, you know what? I will. I, it'll keep me warm on cold nights. <laughs> You're so heartless. No. Um, cheesecake. Let's talk, let's talk about real cheesecake. Tell me about this amazing cheesecake because I ate it. You made it for us. So first, I just want you to know I'm into fitness, Mariella. <laughs> fitness cheesecake in my mouth. <laughs> I love you, Blanche. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, it's a Basque burnt cheesecake. Yeah. From the Basque region of Spain. Mm-hmm. And it is my favorite cheesecake it ever. So now, I will say a lot of recipes, by the way, for this cheesecake calls for you to eat it at room temperature or warm. A lie. And it's going to taste like a sweet omelet. So yeah. do not do that. Oh my god, remember how depressed you were when you made that cheesecake and you were like, Mariella, it tastes like asshole. Yeah, it was horrible. You were so good. You're like, okay, you gotta let it chill overnight, let it chill overnight. And the next day I woke up and as I'm getting ready for work, I took a bite of it and it was like the best thing Yahtzee. ever. I was <laughs> so upset. So you saved the day with that one. So let's uh. talk about this cheesecake. So you're gonna get two pounds of cream cheese. Mm-hmm. I don't care what type of cream cheese you get. And here's the thing too with this cheesecake. Do not get low fat or fat free cream cheese. Okay. Cause you're going to bake this. So stop it. Stop. You're ready eating the cream cheese. Just freaking stop it. Okay. One and a half cups of sugar. This is important. No, it cannot be brown sugar. Okay. So it has to be white sugar. We want to do six large eggs, mm-hmm. two cups of heavy cream. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. I love cream. One teaspoon, one teaspoon <laughs> vanilla extract uh-huh. and a half a cup of all purpose flour. Okay. Some recipes, you know, it's from Basque. So some recipes say you could put a little bit of sherry in there, things like that. I don't really know what sherry is. I think it's a wine. You could put a little bit of wine in there, but I, mm-hmm. I don't. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this is what I love about cheesecake, by the way. You just put everything in one bowl, essentially. The last okay. thing you should probably put in is the flour, because mm-hmm. I would cream everything together, get it all nice. The heavy cream and the eggs are going to go ahead and make it a little more liquidy. And then go ahead and put in your half a cup of flour and stir it in there. And... You're going to put it in. So here's the thing. You got to put it in like really like a, a spring form pan. Okay. Yeah. If you don't, even with the spring form pan, you got to butter at the bottom, put parchment paper and butter that parchment paper. So if you don't have a spring form pan, I still want you to make this delicious dessert, really butter it hardcore and put a lot of parchment paper. It needs to be an, a, a 10 inch circular. And I'm never using this technical with food. But the reason why is because it's going to be a certain thickness and you're going to cook this at a very high temperature. I saw that face. You're going to cook this at a really high temperature because it's going to burn the top and sides. It's going to caramelize all that sugar. So you're going to put it in a 400 degree oven. I think this ran Mati for like close to an hour, actually. Yeah. This so it, it does take time. So you're going to go ahead. You're going to put in that 400 degree oven. It sounds really high, but it, it's, it's it's burning it's, it. It's burning it. That's mm. what it's meant to do. So you're going to take it out and you got to let that little boy cool. All right. Mm-hmm. Because don't put it in the refrigerator away. This is what I do. I put it in the refrigerator overnight. 
So well, this is an overnight process. A cheesecake, when you make like a big one like that, the best thing to do is to turn off the heat and okay. open the drawer of the oven a little bit and then let it cool in there. It creates okay. a different texture, by the way. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And you let it cool there for hours and then you transfer it to the fridge. Try that next I time. That. I'll happens. try that next time. Mm-hmm. So let it cool. I I put it in the refrigerator overnight. Mm-hmm. Mary Yellow. Mm. You pull that parchment paper right out. You pull the whole cake out and it's like firm. It's kind of sticky. Delicious. It's delicious. And you cut into it and just has that really thick cheesecake texture. Like, you know, when you put that fork in it and it has just like that thick texture to it, it's super creamy, vanilla y, cheese like. And it forms its own crust on the bottom because you've burnt it. Right. And that burnt feeling gives you that really nice burnt caramelized sugar. A little chewy. A little chewy on the top. And it, to me, because it's such an incredible cheesecake, it's a very decadent and rich dessert. This is the type of cheesecake that when you look at it and you think to yourself, well, I put it in a 10 inch pan, nine inch pan, whatever. It actually serves a lot of people because it is so rich. It's not some, even me with an insatiable sweet tooth, it's something that you really don't go back for a set. You might, you might have done it. I've done it. <laughs> but honestly, like a 10 inch of one of these cheesecakes can easily serve six, eight people because it's so decadent. My husband is so it, good. And he is a cheesecake aficionado. Like he, this is his favorite dessert. And Who he loved my husband. Remember you made it for us. Oh, That's right. I made it for you guys. Yeah. And he loved it. It is a stamp of approval. Delicious. It's so yes. creamy. And like it leaves like the fork trail, you know, that's how you yes. know it's a good cheesecake when there's a fork trail. Next exactly. Time. And it's so easy though. It's literally throwing everything in a stand mixer. If you know the stand mixer, you know, mixed together by hand, it's fine. And it's just so easy how everything comes together. Why did you give me that face? I don't know if I would make this by hand. I mean, I would at least use a handheld mixer because mixing cream cheese is a pain in the ass it is you know but you can room temperature it it's not going to be so bad i mean it's yeah like, it just don't let it keep you from making it but if you have a right baby, exactly no if you have it if you have a, a a hand mixer yeah obviously use that it's gonna make your life much easier i love this and this is something you know what i like about this it's decadent enough to serve it at christmas mm-hmm. you don't need to put anything with it i guess if you want to put fresh berries on it whipped cream if you want to put some chocolate drizzle on it it really doesn't need it you can make it like seasonal by uh, whatever topping you put on it right so it could be any season depending on so summer you could put berries for fall you could yeah absolutely them. if you want to make it for the holidays i would like i said if for the holidays i would put berries on it dust it with powdered sugar make it look a little snowfally, a little pretty you don't need to do much to this because in my opinion don't overshadow the incredible flavor and texture of this cheesecake it's so don't good. overshadow it like let this shine Ah, oh, Mariella, my mouth is freaking watering. You are like it's delicious. Like, yeah, I'm like, t- I'm like making <laughs> love to this freaking cheesecake. Like, I'm just it like feels good on my body. <laughs> You're channeling Blanche today, like masterfully. <laughs> Mariella, oh my god, I just like want to touch its buoyancy and just you know, just, what buoyancy? Yes, just feel it. You know, it, it's, after my heart, it's so good. I don't know what to do, like. Let me tell you this. Ryan does not like cheesecake. Ryan ate this cheesecake. So oh, good. He ate the whole thing, by the way. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> Why so, got to rat him out to all the people? <laughs> no, no. Let me explain something to you. He not only ate the whole cheesecake, he <laughs> ate the middle. And I quote, he said to me, Bear, you burnt it. <laughs> it's the entire fucking point of the cheesecake. Like it's called burnt cheesecake, damn it. <laughs> it's a man who eats dino nuggets. So you know what? I'm not I don't have much of a listen, he knows what's good at least, okay? And he knew this cheesecake was good with his yeah. middle part. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> it is good. But anyway, you know. Yes. So the moral of the story is eat the cheesecake the way that God intended. Don't put thyme in it or salt because it's gross. Or gross. or yogurt. Plus egg, just make cheesecake. Okay, guys, we love you and we want and you to always have- remember this. Life is good, but cheesecake is better. Oh, Sophia. Are you Sophia? Who am I? I don't know who no, you are. I'm Blanche. You're Blanche? Yeah, am I'm I definitely Dorothy? Blanche. Yeah. No, you're not Dorothy. You're 
you're a mixture of of Sophia and Rose. So a bit you know, you're like dumb look, you're like little angry, but <laughs> oh fucking it. All right, Blanche. How about we both be Blanche? I mean, you're Sophia. Oh shit. Ryan's Rose, and <laughs> and, and Jay is Dorothy. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna hear this and laugh and laugh. This, but this fits exactly all of our personalities. It really does. When we're out to dinner, all four of us, this fits. This is it. We're, we've done it. We've done it. We've made we it have happen. To end on this high note. <laughs> we will. We love you guys. Have a great week. We love spending this time with you. And don't forget to leave us a review. It really matters. And share us with your friends because we want to be friends with you too. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.